So hello guys, welcome back to the Road to Glory series. I know it's been ages. I'm sorry. I've been doing other stuff recently. Completely forgot about this. Uh so yeah. Um here's the second episode of the Road to Glory series. Now obviously if you remember back like those few months ago when I did the first episode, we got knocked out in the uh, in the final of the playoffs of League Two. So we're still in League Two, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is the team. It's pretty good, I think. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, I haven't done anything really to it from where I left off. I probably said I'd do stuff, but haven't done that stuff really right and also we are controlling Salford so yeah um, here is our starting striker our starting team all that um, looking pretty good I think for the second season I probably want to go in for a new centre midfielder because as you can see Gibson is really aging Maybe even a new CDM, because Lowe and Gibson are really aging. Um, centre backs as well might need a bit of a push. Turnbull can go in. But yeah, I think with a few good signings we can really push for a promotion. So yeah. Um. I will notify you of when something happens, when it actually happens. So, yeah. And I have decided to send Benjamin Harvey, uh, one of our youth scouts, out, well, in England, to uh, go try find us some players. So, yeah, there you go. Benjamin Harvey, off to England, or staying in England. And we've made the signing of Tom Lowry from Plymouth Argyle. Uh, coming here to Salford from Plymouth Argyle. 23 years old, 66 overall. Um, I think I really got him on a bargain. I gave them um, low, our uh, CDM, and 710k. I tried to get on uh, 500k, but they wouldn't accept. So I had to deal with uh, 710k with, I believe, a 10% sell-on clause. So Tom Lowry... Welcome to Salford. And we have made the free agent signing of Sandoval. I can play centre mid, centre forward. No, sorry, striker, centre forward, right mid. Um, but I'm going to train him to be a uh, centre mid. So he can play there. Um, or I could do the other way around with Coppola. Either or, they're both 64 rated. But I think I'm probably going to do it with uh, Sandoval. 22 years old. Re pretty good, pretty good. Uh, weak foot three, uh, skin with two. Yeah, I think he's going to be good for the team, you know. Anyway, back to Willin and Dylan, and I'll get back to you when we have a deal done. And we have made the signing of Ross Sykes. Um, let's go on here. We've uh, made the deal with um, Accrington Stanley. Sorry, I need to read through it all because I forget really easily. Sorry. Right. Uh, Accrington Stanley for £2.15 million. 22 year old, 66 overall. Welcome to Salford City, my guy. Looking through the scout report, uh, seems pretty good. Uh, Caleb Giles, he's definitely up there. 78 to 94 potential, 50 to 66 overall possibly that is really good and he could either play left mid right mid right wing left wing striker so i think he could be very very good let's sign him up and that is the transfer window slammed shut uh yeah i will catch up with you all the way in january i'll see you then and at the start of January, we are leading the uh, League Two. This, to be honest, our objective is to uh, win the league this season. 
and we look set to uh, do that, leading the lead by five points to South End United. Let's go, Salford. Now, looking at the squad, doesn't seem like that much has really changed, to be honest. No, that's really changed. We see, um, yeah, it's grown, grown plus three. Yeah, there have been there have been changes here and there. You know, I I don't know what's happened to our bench. That's gone whack. Our bench has gone full for whack. Um, yeah. And we just sort the bench out. Really, I don't know what's happened there. I'm not too sure if Sandoval actually got played that much. I'm not actually too sure. It, I don't think he... Did he even get played? Did he even get played? He's had seven, seven appearances. He's not even been played. Oh my god, I didn't actually do his development. Did I know? Crikey. He is now... He's now a, uh, now he is a, now he is a centre, uh, centre mid. Let's get that weak foot up. Sorry, mate. Oh, you're going to play, don't worry. Looking through the, uh, scout report, getting a few people here and there. I think I'm going to, uh, sign up Arthur Hills. And Jonathan Bolton with his little moustache. Otherwise, I don't think there's really anyone else here. I think that we should go and uh, check them out. In the Youth Academy, we have a goalkeeper. Gonna promote him to the senior team. And we have another centre back. I'm also gonna promote him to the senior team. Nice. That's the squad looking like. Once again, I'll update you if something happens. We have won the EFL League 2 um, by a bit, bit close. Like, you know, not in the end, really. You know, would you call that close? I don't know. Um, yeah, we won by eight points. AFC Wimbledon finishing second. South End took a massive drop in the second half of the season. It was it was close at uh, midway, but we've just completely dominated League Two. We're going up to League One. Uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm really, really, <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Obviously, we missed out on promotion last season or last time with um, with Salford. We got knocked out in the final of the uh, playoffs, which is really annoying. But hey pretty good. Man City versus Aston Villa hasn't been played yet. Hmm. Carabao Cup. Tottenham won that 4-2 in a London derby. 4-2 over Arsenal. Well done Tottenham. Breaking their uh, trophy drought. The Papa John's trophy. The biggest the best. Screw the Champions League. This is the cup you want to be winning. The Papa John's trophy. Fleetwood Town have had that. I know we were definitely in this. Where did we finish? We got to the quarterfinals. I'm proud of that. A League 2 side going to the quarterfinals. I am proud of that, actually. That's very good. Very, very, very good. Oh yeah, Champions League, Europa League. Final between Leipzig, Leipzig and Real Madrid. And the winner of the Europa League is either Sporting or Sevilla. Wow. Right. This is the team that uh, got us promoted. That is a pretty damn good team. Um, that is a damn good team. Sandville really, really did take a big step up. Um, Buomino, big, big part in it. Torre, Andrade, Coppola and Thomas Asante, front three of dreams, they were big, 
Uh, bench looking, looking okay. Let's go to Squad Hub and see everything. Right, stats, goals. Our top scorer was um, Bruno Andrade with 19 goals out of 57 appearances. Not that good, to be honest. To be honest, it wasn't. It's not that good. But hey, I'll take it that it got us promoted and assists. Also, Bruno Andrade. So yeah, that is. Wait a minute. Vaclav Hladki, however you pronounce it, got five assists. Well done, lad. <laughs> wow. Okay. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. I really hope you did enjoy it. We got promoted. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.